Hello again everyone, we got another random product review. To introduce it though, I got this air quality sensor here. And right now it's around 17, no major particulate matter, a little bit of volatile gas is there. So, uh, you might be able to hear in the background, there's construction noise going on. So there's always concrete dust and all that stuff where I live. And so I thought I'd give this a try. This is the Xiaomi, let's see, Purifier Light. Smart Air Purifier 4 Light. Okay, sorry. So let's get this out of the box here. I do have a cat around here. It's going to probably knock this tripod around. See if there's anything else important on the box. Uh, well, let's see. It's all in a language I cannot read, so. No. <laughs> I know this thing comes in other languages. There's a Chinese model, there's an international model. So here we have the power supply. Oh, it's one of these hilly European ones. Uh, this is the worst type of connector to plug into a wall outlet in my opinion unless you actually have this plastic part which no one seems to ever have so that is unfortunate but actually let me read this thing because it tells you it is an output of 24 volts but it doesn't tell you which side is positive and negative on this connector so that's too bad if it told you that oh it is right there never mind Boy, oh, it's really hard to read. I'll have to look into that. I'm getting it as you could probably use a different connect uh, power supply. So this is 24 volts and the polarity is correct. Nice foam, of course. I like this brand Xiaomi. I have one of their electric scooters. Um, and, and that thing's pretty cool. So unfortunately, this is the native language where I am, but there is English here, so... Power button is on the top, mode switch button is on the top, the display, the rear view also has buttons. Display on and off, and then the power port is on the back. Modes, automatic, sleep, manual, PM 2.5 is the first one, there's a Wi-Fi thing, temperature, humidity, which is good, I don't have those in, in here. Alright, so... I will go through that later. I thought I'd just show you the uh, filter replacement before we actually use the thing. So the, on the side there's this little thing you press on both sides. So the fan, the electronics are all up in this top module. There's the sensor, by the way. And there's a seal, nice uh, high density foam of some sort. The fan blade is a big tall turbine. Okay. And then the display has this little protective plastic. And then those buttons up top. Okay. So Xiaomi has this a bunch of these different cylindrical filters. This one has a pre-screen here for cat hair, which I'm gonna appreciate. And this one I think is like activated carbon and HEPA. So it looks like it's awfully black in there, so that's what makes me think there might be carbon. Or this HEPA screen actually has carbon embedded in it. The bottom is solid. So basically the bottom here is just a fancy piece of plastic that, uh, you know, hides this, this cylinder. So that just goes in. And then gravity in this lock mechanism. But you gotta make sure the finger 
the lock mechanism. Oh, there's actually an index here. So this thing here, oh, sorry, I can't see the screen and do this as well. But here on the bottom, there's that same index. So, all right, so it actually will, you know, lift the bottom up after it's locked in place. All right, so here's the back, here's the plug, pop that in, turn it on. Did this thing looks like then? Alright. It is blowing. Now why it just shut off, I don't know. Oh, I think I may have accidentally just touched that. So that's a touch sensitive button. It's not a physical switch button. And I just grazed it and turned it off. So there we have the temperature, humidity, and then the PM is 17-ish, 16-ish. Unfortunately, I don't have a long Type-C cable for this thing. So it's come somewhat close because this one says 17. And actually, the, the PM has gone up in the few minutes that I started this video. Oh, uh, this is 17. All right, so those actually do match, so that's nice. Uh, let's see here. All right, the instructions are telling me to, for setting the Wi-Fi, for the first time I gotta use this reset button. I don't know why it's beeping. I gotta hold this for seven seconds. Okay, so Wi-Fi has been reset once it does that beeping. Enabling and disabling Wi-Fi. Uh, I'll just let you read along with me here. So after Semitos, you hold the back button and the right side button and the display on off button for seven seconds. Okay, then Wi-Fi will be enabled. So... Let's see if this works. Okay, made a noise. Well, I think I actually turned it off. It may have been on. The way you can tell is there literally is a, a Wi-Fi uh, signal flashing there. So I downloaded the app, and it's been like five minutes, and it's just not showing up. No devices. So I turned Bluetooth on, and it still didn't find it. So I don't know what the deal is with this Wi-Fi. Uh, maybe it only works with the Chinese one. Uh, in the instructions here, let me show you. If you go to this QR code, it goes to a Chinese slash Japanese Xiaomi Mi Home thing. But my phone doesn't translate that stuff so I downloaded a different one with with English off the Google Play Store uh, I don't know I'm not even I mean I'm not gonna use the app anyways I'm just gonna be at home and either turn this on or off so I can't help you with the app unfortunately but what I will do is at least turn this on I'm gonna close all the doors here and uh, let's see let's see if the PM goes down to a lower number than 14 It's on. It's automatic mode, I guess. Nope, sorry. Night mode. I don't know what heart mode means. Well, maybe heavy duty mode.
All right. Well, the instructions here are saying automatic mode. Just switches based on air quality. Sorry, that's not this thing. It's my other sensor. It's noticing a lot of uh, something. Ultra high, ultra low noise for a comfortable sleeping environment is the the sleeping one, and then manual, which is his heart, is I guess just cranking high mode. I, I don't know if that icon makes sense. If it's, I don't know. Different languages. I guess a heart. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. Alright, we saw it clear out that living room, by the way, that was fi around 50 square meters and it cleaned it out in 15 to 20 minutes. So even though this thing's pretty small, the fan can work pretty fast and do a high turnover. I just wanted to show if you want to save money, because this is even, this is actually a better solution. It's the same filter, a fan, and then the sensor. So that's essentially that what's going on in here. They took one of these sensors, put it in the top with the fan, and they have the same filter here. So you could save more than 50%, maybe 70% of the cost if you want to have like a really unattractive way of doing this. Uh, when I say better though, I mean one of these sensors has the actual gas uh, detectors. This one does not, it just has the particulate matter. So <clears throat> that room uh, originally wasn't very dirty in the first place. So I'm going to show you the effects of secondhand smoke. Here's some uh, cigarettes. And we're inside of a bathroom. It's only one and a half uh, meters. One but 1.5 by 1.5. So it's, I guess it's a three square meter room. So let me uh, strike up a cigarette here and start smoking. Well, I don't actually have to inhale like, uh, like Bill Clinton said. <clears throat> blow some smoke towards that meter. You see? <laughs> so, if you hang out at a bar with a bunch of smokers, that's what's going on. That was like three puffs of smoke, and it's already warning me that we're living in, like, India right now. Alright, so, let me put this thing out. That's the first cigarette I've had since Kobe started, and I'm not going to smoke it anymore. I'm past that. Let's turn this thing on. It's on the high mode. Yeah, this. Alright, it's floating around 1 to five, 5, I don't understand why. You'll see over here on this meter, the air quality is still 50 because the thing is incapable of removing the actual volatile gases fully. And that has to do with the cartridge. You can get different cartridges with more carbon and that would uh, get rid of those gases. So if the instruction said it had like a 60 decibel rating, I'm going to just test it out with my little cheap uh, phone app. Yeah, my phone is registering a much higher number, of course. I don't know, well, if the microphone is more like here. It's very high, actually. More like 100 something. Well, free stuff, you always get the ads, right? Okay. 
Okay, so I'm gonna drop it down to the regular automatic mode and Uh, there's a clock in this bathroom. The ticking of the clock is creating that noise. Yeah, so I can't really say how quiet it is in automatic mode. Uh, but it is spinning inside that thing, which is very... Well, I can't see it. It's just a blur. It is spinning, but it's very quiet. Alright, so in summary, if you live in a place with air pollution, meaning Asia, uh, you probably want to get an air filter system. If not a real professional one, you can still, again, just get a cartridge, a fan, and a meter, and just turn it off when the meter goes, you know, to a nicer air quality. But I'm pretty happy to have this one. I like the fact that it has an automatic mode. If I wanted to while I'm here, I'll just leave it on, and it'll kick on when it needs to. Uh, obviously, if I just close my windows and my doors, once it goes down to zero, it should be okay. So... Unless you have a lot of carpeting, those put out a lot of gases and stuff. This this room we're in has my cat's litter in it, so there's a lot of cat pee, and I think that's what's leading to all this gas. All right, well, thanks for watching again. Another casual review. Not very professional. I apologize, but I don't have time to do this stuff for, for real. All right, thanks for watching. See you next time.